Hi and welcome to Bianca's Kitchen, where you can explore the world of vegan food. Over the years I've tried many recipes for homemade soy milk, but all of them had a strong beanie taste that I didn't like. So I researched many cooking forums and tried a lot of the suggestions that I read. Today I'm sharing what works for me and what I like best. Compared to the recipes that I tried in the past, I changed three major factors that make a huge difference for me and give my soy milk a pleasant mild taste. The first one is a different water temperature for soaking the beans than most recipes use. The second one is changing the soaking time for the soybeans. And finally, a different cooking time for the soy milk. If you want to try my recipe, you will need these ingredients. I use organic soybeans and filtered water. First, fill the soybeans into a pot. Then bring six cups of water to a boil. Pour the boiling water over the soybeans. Compared to soaking the soybeans in cold water, this leads to a much better taste of the soy milk. So I always make sure the first contact the beans make with water is with boiling water. I let the water cool down completely. Then I transfer the pot to the fridge where it stays for one full day. This long soaking time is the second important factor for soy milk with a better taste. One day later, the beans are soaked and big and ready for the next step. Strain them. Then rinse the soybeans. Next step is blending. My blender's container measures eight and a half cups. So I blend them in two batches because the water bean mixture can form a lot. I fill half of the beans into my high speed blender and add three cups of water. Blend for two minutes. Then pulse to release particles from the walls of the blender. Blend for another two minutes. And now repeat the step with the remaining half of the beans and three cups of water. Place a strainer on a pot and line it with a cheesecloth or laundry mesh wash bag. I bought mine years ago, but a link to a similar wash bag can be found in the video notes. Pour the liquid into the strainer. Close and twist the cheesecloth or wash bag and squeeze out as much liquid as possible. The pipe that remains is called okara, it can be used to make vegan burger patties or bread and many other delicious things. Now to the third important factor for great taste. I cook the soy milk for two hours on low to medium heat. I stir the soy milk frequently so it doesn't burn at the bottom of the pot. You have to watch it because soy milk can easily foam and boil over. If that happens, reduce the heat a bit. Most other recipes tell you to boil the soy milk for half an hour or something, but for me, that is too short. Two hours later, let the soy milk cool down or use it right away if you want to enjoy some vegan hot chocolate. I've tried many things, but my combination of the three factors I explained works best for me. Of 
course, soy milk always will taste like soy, but mine doesn't have a nasty beanie taste. And I absolutely love it. This is my preferred soy milk for fermenting my own soy yogurt at home. It works great and the yogurt is really delicious. My fermentation tutorial from a few years ago is linked here on the screen and in the video description. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Also check out my other plant milk tutorials. Creamy walnut milk is a source of omega-3 fatty acids, magnesium and protein. Sesame milk has a rich, nutty taste and is full of nutrients. Sunflower seed milk has a creamy, pleasant taste and is another very easy recipe that works without straining and without pulp. Oat milk is very creamy too and has a mild taste. Rice milk is a bit thinner and also has a mild taste. Spelt milk tastes a lot like oat, but is high in lutein, a nutrient very important for eye health. I also have a coconut milk recipe, it's great for pina coladas and Asian dishes. And I recently modernized my old chickpea milk recipe from 2015 that now has a different ratio of ingredients for a better result. The video notes contain links to all recipes mentioned in this tutorial. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.